hello hello to all of my beautiful subscribers welcome back to my channel thank you guys for the likes share, the comments as well as subscribes let's get into a collective general message for today hope you guys are doing swell for you guys universe ancestors of the highest body light if i can myself up to channel the messages surrounding the collective ways that you protect me as i do so please and thank you okay so let's see what's going on You could be in the process of working on your communication or changing the way you communicate or perceive things, okay? You can also be talking to your friends <clears throat> about a situation that you could have been dealing with, okay? Someone could also want to heal a situation with you, okay? Somebody also could have been healing. Let's see. So we have date, okay? So you could be dating someone new, okay? You also could be working on your business or career or starting a new job, okay? I'm here working on a profession. Oops. We have the golden mirror and clock, okay? So whoever you're dating, or this could be you, you could be kind of like in a love bombing situation or someone is love bombing you, okay? This person could be using you to get past time or to get through time or well, this could be you okay you could also be feeling like you dating people or putting yourself back out there could be a waste of time all right or you're just looking towards you don't want to like get into relationships and it just be a waste of time we got stabbed in the back okay so it's like hmm Someone could be setting up, <clears throat> setting up a set place and time, okay, to run into you, to see you, okay? Someone could feel betrayed by you or stabbed in the back, or someone could just feel very hurt, okay? Someone could also be seeing through the lies or seeing through your lies or whatever the case may be. Give me more spirit. We got self-indulgent and both. So maybe healing still needs to be required or still needs to be done in order for you to move forward, okay? You could be reflecting or reminiscing on situations dealing with the past, okay? And it could be helping you get through whatever obstacles and challenges you're going through, okay? Someone also could have got physically attacked or stabbed or something, okay? Okay? Someone could also be doing, like, mirror magic on you, okay, to, like, probably slow you down or stop you from dating new people, seeing new people. Yeah, we have kisses, okay? So, someone is definitely trying to, like, stop and block you from falling in love with other people. Or this is what this person is manifesting. Or you could be manifesting uh, people that are hurt and they hide their feelings or they very closed off and detached, Okay, so it can feel like the relationship is one sided. Give me more spirit. You could also need to set an alarm, okay, for you to get up to go to work on time and to be there. Okay, your boss could be kind of controlling or demanding, or your boss is always trying to control situations. Like, it's to the point to whoever your boss is. They can feel as though that they're right in the situation. Okay. You can also have coworkers that could be talking about you or going against you. Okay. Causing a lot of confusion in the workplace. You could also ask for um, lesser hours or you're needing to. Because there's something deceptive going on within your business, your work, or your career. Okay? I'm hearing finances as well. Yeah, we have coughing. So you're definitely putting things to an end or you're needing to end out a certain situation. Okay? You can feel like that you're running out of time or you just don't have enough time to end out something. All right? All right? 
you could feel like that whatever changes you're going through could be affecting you in different areas of your life. So say, for instance, if you're like a single parent, okay, you know that you have to focus on doing things for the home and what you're needing to do. You might feel like that it's a lot of pressure or weight on you. But you have new opportunities around you the more that you continue to close out things and heal and end certain situations that could have dealt with stabbing you in the back, hurting you. Okay? You could have you could have made it. You could have been to the point where though you just wanted to start focusing on you so it made you kind of self-observed or standoffish towards other people. You could be the type of person that always you could be the type of person that reflect or um mirror back people in their wounds or traumas or pain that they endured or been through. Someone felt like being away from you or time apart helped them heal. It helped them get through. Okay? It helped them mature and become a better man. Because you see how this man is on this day card. Okay? It made this person reflect. Okay? Go within to heal. Go into hermit mood. Someone is releasing and letting go whatever betrayals then happen to them, male or female. Give me more spirit, please. Thanks a lot. Okay. You could be feeling like someone is hiding the truth from you because I seen the sword and rose and then the mask card. Or you feel like someone is just closed off with their emotions and feelings. Like they're very much distant, okay? You can feel like someone could also be stringing you along or you could be in a third party situation or someone feels as though they're in a third party situation, okay? This person could be causing you to definitely self-reflect and see what it is that you want truly about dating people or being in a relationship. Yeah, we have love calls, so someone might want to reach out to you and talk to you, okay? Someone feel as though that they still have some more learning to do when it comes to certain situations, people, place, and things. Yeah, we have relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth butterfly, Okay? So you're definitely healing your inner child wounds or needing to. Okay, something is closing out or something is coming to an end. Okay, in order for you to keep moving towards calmer waters. Okay, we have keys on the ring and Cupid arrow. So you can have a decision to make when it comes to dating people or a particular person. Okay, so you can have a lot of suitors or a lot of feminine energy or masculine energies that are attracted to you and that want to date you. Okay. But it's something that you're needing to see or realize or come to terms with in order to fully end it out with this coffin card, okay? In order to get a brand new beginning when it comes to love, relationships, or whatever it is that you're wanting in your life, okay? Someone could feel like they cannot make up their mouth. They're confused when it comes to these options. So it could still be like some smoke and mirrors because you see the smoke around the mirrors. So it's still like smoke and mirrors regarding you and this person or you in this situation on whoever you're dating or you're engaging with, okay? Let's see. Someone probably just doesn't want you to come in towards them and it'd be very much like, you pushing them on the back burner or you just only wanting them just because, okay? So someone still can have some form of insecurities. 919 on the clock. Yeah, we have the Grim Reaper, Healing Heart, and Addiction. Someone could be kind of obsessive, okay? Or very much controlling and dominating. Someone is still trying to like Mend their heart together, okay? Because this person is still dragging their feet and sewing up their heart trying to heal. Oh, this could be you guys, okay? Because you feel like every person you attract or date or get connected to, it just ends up in an ending. 
or someone is wanting this to happen for you or to you. So whatever new love comes your way with the Cupid's arrow, for you to have new opportunities or whatever it is that you're wanting, 10, 10 on the clock, opportunities in, it's like it's coming to an end or it's closing out. Some of these situations could be a form of distraction, okay? Because you are someone that could be building on, building and working on yourself, okay? Or needing to do more focusing on self. Yeah, we have self-indulgence or self-worth, okay? Needing to focus on self, taking time to heal. So, yeah, and abundance and twin flames. So, as I open up the deck. So, it's like balancing out your yin and yang energies, your masculine and feminine energy, okay? Knowing when to pull away and to end things out and knowing when to engage, okay? Because the more that you stay positive and keep a positive mindset and reflect on any situation that could have caused pain or that could have been very shocking or disappointing or upsetting, it's like you will still be able to push forward because that faith will always be within you with the Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting. Okay, so you could just be hesitant when it comes to love, okay? So you could be kind of closed off emotionally dealing with your heart chakra, okay? So Spirit is wanting you to go within and reflect on what is it that you're feeling or what is it that you're wanting to do when it comes to dating people or when it comes to cutting people off? So you guys could have recently cut someone off or you're thinking about cutting someone off, okay? Because you're feeling like it's taking up too much space and time for you to heal and continue to heal, okay? So it can be kind of hindering you because it's like now you might feel as though you're putting yourself on a back burner again just to please others when you was perfectly fine doing Things that made you help. I'm um, happy. I said healthy. Okay? With the abundance card. So you could be in a happy state of mind, a happy space, mentally, physically, and emotionally. But at times you could replay or you could backtrack and reminisce on deception or pain and hurt or traumas that affected you. Okay? And at times we could definitely close ourselves off because we focus too much on the worst outcome or what happened in the past that was done wrong to us, okay, where we all play a part in it because we all got to take accountability of why we let these things happen to us or why we dealt with these things, okay, because we have to be the bigger person to find understanding that when this situation happened again, whether with a new person or with the old person coming back in your life or whatever it is in your life, that you will know how to actually find full understanding to learn from these lessons in order to continue to feel liberated. Because it's endings that's going on right now surrounding people, places, and things. But we still have to maintain and stay intact with our self-worth, our morals, values, integrity. Okay? There's no way nobody is not going to find or have any form of distractions because you're going to have distractions. Especially when you're getting to the point in like 1333, you're leveling up. Okay, you're going to have people that's going to try to drag you back down. So that's why it's always best and it's good to self-reflect and go back into hermit mode. Okay, to piece your own puzzles back together and figure things out. So that way you can move accordingly and completely close out chapters in your life that is causing you to feel like that you're not in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. And then that become like addictive patterns. And then we're so used to holding on to pain and hurt that when it's time for us to heal, it's hard for us to heal. 1414 14 and, and fully understand why we keep going down the same situations, okay? Let's get some positive messages. Yeah, it say keep going. You are on the right path. The seeds you are planting will grow. Success is guaranteed. So you have to know that every seed that you plant in a healthy way will help you continue to move forward and close things out, okay? Because we all make mistakes. None of us is perfect. But it's like 1444, you can't continue to keep making mistakes, okay? Most people are afraid to be accountable or face facts of the mistakes that they made, whether it's you dealing in betrayal or the betrayal happened to you. 
You just know how to continue to move forward and don't let it hinder you. Because if you're not willing to understand that change or why you made that mistake or why something happened or why something occurred, then you're not going to be able to fully transition out of that energy. So that's why we have yin yang here with twin flames, balance, duality, zen. Okay? Because it's like reconnecting to the other part of you, which is that masculine or feminine energy. Okay, spirit. So, yeah, we're, as a collective of people, we are still, woo, I'm being choked up. We are still healing daily. Okay? It's not going to stop. We're going to continue to heal. But as long as you don't let it overpower you or control you in a way to wisdom, you're wanting to be in that dark night of soul energy or feeling lost or feeling trapped. And feeling like, oh, this is the last resort. I can't find my way out of whatever darkness that you go through. Because you're going to go through dark times and dark moments. It's like, it all depends on how long you choose to stay in that dark energy. 16, 16. It say, it's safe to relax because the universe has your back. Your divine purpose is to enjoy your life. Exactly. Never be afraid to enjoy your life and have fun. Sometimes we be too hard on ourselves. And then when things happen, we sit up here and we blame ourselves or we criticize ourselves for the things that we put partake in or that we have done. And it's like it only gives us opportunities and chances to learn from those mistakes or learn from whatever situation that happened so we can continue to move forward because we can't sit in it all day. Like that's self-pity. Now you're you're you wanting people to feel pity for you or feel sad for you or feel um like, yeah, feel sad for you and feel pity for you because you chose to do the things that you have done. No, you have to be willing to take accountability and self-reflect. And next go around, you know that whatever, how you're moving, you won't move or operate in that manner anymore. Seventeen, seventeen. Okay, because we all, we all as people get strung along and get caught up into certain situations, people, places, and things. And it's only up to us to figure it out to get out of that situation. Or we can just sit and stay in it and wonder why we're miserable or we're always trying to put our heart back together or pieces back together where we can actually put our own selves back together. We're not meant to hold on to pain or enjoy that fulfillment of pain. We're always supposed to have to come. We're always needing to go back into feeling what that love is that we lost at that time and moment to make us feel vulnerable and to make us do things out of whack, okay? Because the only way you're operating in your heart energy is by doing things in a vulnerable way. Not saying go out and be naive and gullible and just get in the mix and just start doing all this crazy shit. You get what I'm saying? It's just still knowing that even 1818 by you going down this road or going down this path or taking the steps necessary to do what you have done, Okay, whatever that is to you, just know that you are willing to still make the best outcome of it because it's only meant for you to grow and transform. Okay. We have, yes, be vulnerable. Vulnerability is strength. Lay your cards out on the table. Reveal the true you. Keep your mind plus your heart open. There is no need to protect yourself. When you're afraid to be vulnerable, you're afraid of letting people truly see who you really are as a person. Not everybody is going to love you for, for you or the way that you are, but it's not up to them to do that. It's up to you to continue to love you for you, regardless what you have done in your life. We tend to focus more on how people view us or what we want people to perceive us as. And then when we truly show who we are, it's like now we really try to close off those parts of us that we know that was already beautiful and golden within us. That's why we have the golden mirror. You have to figure out what was the beauty and the, the um, yeah, what was the beauty of you within from your heart space? Okay. We have let it all go. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Don't let pain, anger, or guilt control you. Exactly. 
You have to be willing to release all of that. Don't let pain and guilt hinder you. Being vulnerable is okay. Because it shows that you still know how to protect yourself when times get to going out of whack. Because we're not supposed to control every situation, person, place, or thing. How are we going to even know that the universe have our back or that it's safe to do things or it's safe to fully step into who we are if we tend to want to control everything? And now we're resenting what's presented for us and given to us freely. Yeah, it said, keep being you. What others say or do is a reflection of them, not you. Don't take anything personally. It drains your energy. Exactly. Because can't nobody tell you more than you unless these people are studying you all, studying you all day long or they're trying to be you or portray to be you. Never be afraid to step and stay in your light. Okay? Because we're going to always have dark times. That's the only way we can continue to ascend and transform and grow spiritually. It's going through the dark. We have celebrate you. Take yourself out on a date. Treat yourself to a massage. Take time to enjoy your own company. Yes. Even being alone to yourself, reading a book, singing, dancing, writing, or doing things that you love to do. It's still a way of knowing that you are in control of yourself. You do have power of yourself because you're not giving it away. You're knowing when to give out and you're knowing when to receive it back. And nine times out of 10, you don't need to receive that same energy back from others. You just need to receive that energy back for yourself, from yourself, towards yourself, to yourself, about yourself. Okay? And then we have go to nature, take a walk, have a picnic, lay on the grass, look up at the clouds. So someone could be very romantic. So if you guys are dating or thinking about dating or going out being vulnerable and opening yourself up towards love, which is a beautiful thing, this person is going to be very romantic, okay? This person, 22, 22, this person is actually going to open you up to, I'm here a new way of being, okay? So this person is going to open you up to a new way of being, Spirit is saying, okay? This person is going to, like, help you be more adventurous or be more exploratory, okay? Because when we endure so much pain and hurt, we tend, to, we tend to lose that inner child of us that always wanted to be adventurous or spontaneous or go out and be creative and be fun, okay? Because we lose and we lose that, I'm not going to say purity, but we lose the essence of ourselves as how we was as a child of wanting to be vulnerable, going out, having fun. Okay. Finding the brighter side of the things of life and continuing to move forward and not let things be a burden or hinder us. You get what I'm saying? So when you meet new people or date new people, you should want to look towards people that will bring out that, um, that energy within you that you probably was closed off to because of so much trauma, okay? So someone is definitely going to take you out on dates. They're going to be very romantic. Take you out on spas, okay? Wine and dine you, cater to you, okay? This person could be a very charming person, a very sweet, loving person. But you would never know if this person is not willing to be vulnerable just as well as you. Because maybe you and this person, whether it's new or old, is trying to control the situation. And the spirit is like, okay, now relax. The universe got your back. They just want you to live in the moment and enjoy what is going on around you and what is going on within you. So that way you will be able to celebrate and not hold on to what other people's perception or viewpoint of you. Because you are in control of you and yourself. I'm hearing that song. It's just me, myself, and I. Okay? That's why it's always good to stay grounded. Okay? Take time to meditate. Refocus your mind. Because we tend to let smoke and mirrors and some form of illusions distract us. And then we seem to not, like, numb ourselves with addictions because we don't want to take accountability for what we have done or did. So it was like, we're needing to not let 
addictions be a coping mechanism or escape escapism because one way or another we're still having to face that truth we're still having to face that reality we're still having to face whatever endings that are occurring or happening in our life 25 15 it says celebrate love your relationships are a divine blessing cherish your love when say i love you often okay 25 25 it don't matter who it is always show and give compassion okay shouldn't that much pain and hurt make you to become so hateful and spiteful and mean because you can still show that you have that pure innocence about you by being vulnerable. Even if that person hurt you or even if it was some type of misunderstanding between you and someone else. You never know if that person is mature enough to right those wrongs the same way you are mature enough to reflect and see whatever wrongs that y'all have made in order to make things go better or to get back on track between the two of you. Because every ending is merely a brand new beginning. It's for you to liberate yourself, free yourself, and change your perception and perspective of whatever the outcome or situation was up hand. In order to continue to heal and keep your heart together. Let's get more spirit. Thank you. We have unleash your passion, connect with your sexual energy, sleep naked, touch, moan, and fantasize, enjoy your pleasure. Okay? So maybe you guys are needing to be more sexy or don't be afraid to show that sexiness within you, that boldness. Be bold in who you are. Okay? I'm hearing that song. I look real good today. I look real good today. Okay? Always feel good. Always know that you are good. You are worthy enough for whatever it is that's meant for to be in your life or to come your way. Can't nobody stop it, block it, or take it away but you. We have you are glowing. All eyes on you receive attention and affection. Your energy is magnetic. Exactly. Your energy is strong. The more you continue to call back your energy, take control of your own energy, be in control of yourself most and First and foremost, then you will continue to mag you will continue to attract and be a magnet for other people to see that it is okay to be you and stand in your truth and be of who you are. It don't matter what it is, okay, at this point, light or dark, you feel me? Because it's all balance. That's what balance is. Like, if you really was to sit down and, like, pay attention to how things go and make things really make sense. Because I understand people would say, oh, being of the dark or doing this, that, and the third is wicked, is evil, is me. It, it all depends on how evil and dark you're going into it here, okay? Now, if you're just wanting to come into people's lives and cause endings and destruction and pain and hurt and trying to, like be a part of the problem and not trying to like be a problem solver then that's an issue then now it becomes dark because it's like you continue to put up veils and illusions and smoke and mirrors around these people places and things instead of just being vulnerable and telling the truth and just like you know what it's safe for me to be me around you whether you like it or not and be honest and truthful where we get caught up in it is to where the, we try to play the game more than the game is being played. And then you get caught up into situations and now you're trying to backtrack and figure out why you even got put into those situations. It's like a chess board, okay? Not checkers. You're having to be strategic about how you move around certain people, places, and things. Because some of these things are good for you and some of these things are not. You have to figure out why you was put in certain situations to get a certain outcome because you're supposed to learn from it. So that way you'll be able to teach and let other people find that understanding within themselves of what it is that you're saying to them or what message they're supposed to receive from whatever it is that you're guiding them with. Okay. Okay. 
Because there's a lot of abundant energy around y'all. The motor child give gratitude and y'all show gratitude and be thankful. Even if you got things that's going on in your life behind closed doors that people don't even know. But your spirit guides, your ancestors in the most high God know. So that all shit matters at this point. Because when we tend to focus on the bad or what's going on in our life that is meant to close, that's meant to change, that's meant for us to push ourselves more and further out there to be the best version of ourselves, we tend to hold on to that. And it becomes a form of addiction. And it's like a scare tactic. And we're wanting to be cradled all the time or rock like a baby when spirit and our ancestors is like, no, it's time for us to fully boss up, mature and grow up and step into our divinity. So that way our divine blessings can flourish and come to us gracefully in the eat in the ebb and flow manner because that's how you bring balance to yourself that's how you keep balance within yourself it don't matter what it is because too much positivity draws negativity towards you too much negativity in some way shape or form could have some positivity in it it just depends on how you perceive it or how you take in whatever that message is or whatever it is that you're watching, learning, discovering, reading, figuring out, whatever it is to you that you perceive it, okay? Because my point of view is not everyone else's point of view. Everybody has their own way of perceiving things and taking their messages. It's up to you to fully know the balance of it all. Okay, so this is your message collective. I hope this really helps you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification. Peace.